Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Joseph Freeman, a professor in the School of Biomedical Engineering at Virginia Tech. And today I'd like to talk to you guys about collagen. Uh, collagen is a, is a type of protein that's in the body. Um, it's actually in everywhere in the body. It's in your eyes, it's in your skin, it's in your bones, it's in your ligaments and tendons. And it makes up about a third of all the protein in your body. Uh, specifically, I want to talk to you about type 1 collagen. It's uh, one of the main types of collagen, and it's found in your bones, it's found in your skin, it's found in your eyes, it's found in your ligaments, your tendons. And it's, so it's very important um, because it's a major building block in all the tissues in your body. Now, um, collagen is very unique, or type 1 collagen is very unique. Um, it's unique in the sense that what it does is um, when different collagen molecules are um, together in the same, in the right, under the right conditions, what happens is they come together to form fibrils, which are you know, tiny bits of molecules put together, and those come together and it makes you form fibers. These fibers make up all the tissues in your body. And so what they, when they come together, it's called self-assembly. So let's pretend that each of these Lego blocks is a collagen molecule. When they get together in collagen self-assembly, they attach end to end. So this collagen molecule attaches to this collagen molecule, and they form bonds between one another covalent bonds they're called. And then this end, the back end of this collagen molecule then forms a bond with the front end of this collagen molecule. And then the back end of this collagen molecule forms a bond between the front end of this collagen molecule. And then when a number of these are linked together in what we call linear aggregation because they come together in sort of a line, they find another group of collagen molecules that's also has, uh, has also undergone linear aggregation. And then they, they come on top of one another, and then they snap into place. And this is called lateral aggregation. So first, they come together along this direction, they aggregate linearly, linear aggregation. And then they snap into place on top of one another laterally, and this is called lateral aggregation. And then when enough of these collagen molecules come together like this, you form a collagen fiber, and then those fibers form different tissues such as skin, ligament, cartilage, etc. Uh, the ligaments and tendons, um, sometimes you can sprain or strain a ligament when you roll your ankle or pull your knee or something like that. And those things that you're straining or spraining or damaging, those are type of the, the, um, collagen fibers in those tissues. A bone is made up of collagen, as well as a mineral or a hard, um, a hard substance called calcium phosphate. So collagen is everywhere, and it's very important. And because it's so important for the way your body behaves and how your body is constructed, we take a look at it in our lab. One of the things we do is we get type one collagen out of um, tissues from animals, like rat tails. Uh, we take the tails off of rats and pull the tendons out of them. Then we dissolve the tendons, and then we end up with type one collagen. And we take the collagen, we put it into fibers again, and then we test it mechanically to see how it behaves under certain conditions so that we can get a better idea of how the tissues in the body behave. So now we're going to turn it over to uh, Albert Quanta, and he's being assisted by one of our new students, Yvonne Emson. He's going to tell you about our studies with collagen. Hello, everyone. My name is Albert Quanta. I'm a second year graduate student in Dr. Freeman's lab, um, and this is Yvonne Emson. Uh, today we're going to show you how to how we self-assemble collagen fibers. So we have collagen that's been isolated from rat tail tendon. It, it's a fairly long process; it takes about one and a half to two weeks. Right, and so now we have uh, two solutions. We have a, a dual syringe setup over here. So we have one one syringe that has a collagen solution at a certain concentration, and we have a second syringe, uh, second syringe with uh, a fiber formation buffer. So it's a solution that helps with uh, forming the fibrils. And so now we have these two solutions that come together uh, at, this, at this interface. And they'll be joining through this tubing. And they will come, this helps to uh, actually form the, the diameter of the fibers. And so you see the fibers that will come out at the end un underneath this solution. Again, this is the same solution that's also in one of those syringes. So it's a fiber formation buffer. And so we'll be taking the, the, sol the solution that's coming out the end where the fibers are forming and passing it between these, uh, these thumbtacks.
you can see the fiber is actually forming. It looks kind of like spaghetti right now. You can see some of the fibers there running underneath the surface of the liquid. So this process is going to continue for 24 hours in this fiber formation buffer. And then we're going to remove this solution and replace it with a, another buffer that will again help to continue uh, this process for another 24 hours. And finally we're going to take the fibers, wash them in uh, water, and then dry them on a, a wooden drying rack, at which point they'll start to turn brown and again so they'll be dehydrated. So all the water will be most of the water will be removed from the fibers. And after that they'll be ready for mechanical testing and other types of say uh, chemical uh, chemical uh, tests. So we vacuumed out all the water and you can see some of the fibers that have been left behind. These are fibers made out of collagen. And now we're going to add some more water to rinse them off and then take them out. Uh, now we're going to be looking at the collagen fibers after they had formed. And they were dried at, at room temperature in the air. And so we took the fibers and then we glued them inside this uh, vellum paper frame. So it's just a, a type of paper. So now we have the fiber underneath the uh, light microscope. And we're going to look at it and you'll be able to see it on the computer screen. And here's a picture of the collagen fiber. And this fiber has, is not in, uh, it's not uh, dry right now, so it was inside, right now it's currently inside a, a liquid. And so if it was dry, it's, the, the width of the fiber would be a lot smaller. Thank you, Albert. All right, thank you, everyone. Well, that's it. Thank you, Albert, and thank you guys for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself and learned a lot about collagen and specifically how we study collagen and biomedical engineering. If you have any questions, feel free to give them your teacher, to your teacher, and then your teacher will pass them on to me, and then I'll address them in the next DVD or via webcast. So um, come up with some questions, and I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.